Hey everyone, welcome back with a new lecture with ISO IEC 17025 2017 edition and now meteorological traceability. Before that in 2005 edition it was measurement traceability but now meteorological traceability. Why not traceability only or measurement traceability only or calibration traceability? Why they give the name of meteorological traceability? I found meteorological traceability is more logic than traceability or measurement traceability or calibration traceability because meteorological traceability it can include measurement of results and calibration of instruments but only traceability not meteorological traceability or measurement traceability or calibration traceability only traceability also is a common name for measurement of results and calibration of instruments but also also can be for many other contexts such as material, document, sampling and others also. And we need to focus more on measurement of results and calibration of instruments. Measurement traceability only for measurement of results. Calibration traceability only for calibration of instruments. So meteorological traceability will be more logic and will be common for both of them. But what does it mean meteorological traceability? Meteorological traceability is a traceability of measurement of results and calibration of measuring instruments to international system of units, SI units, through a documented unbroken chain or chain of custody. But what is the importance of traceability? Traceability used to ensure comparability of measurement results both nationally and internationally. And in Annex 1, A1 General, in this document, you will find that to ensure comparability of measurement results both nationally and internationally, lab is responsible to establish traceability according to this document. As example for traceability, traceability of calibrated weights. Calibrated weights which used for calibration of balance. Balance shall be calibrated by a specific calibrator which is calibrated weights. So these calibrated weights also shall be calibrated but it shall be calibrated by a content calibration lab and that will be every year. This content calibration lab shall be traceable to National Meteorological Institute inside the country and this National Meteorological Institute shall be traceable to SI units, International System of Units and this is the chain of custody to ensure comparability, comparability of calibration of this equipment to international system of units so it will be comparable both nationally and internationally and also in annex a in this document you will find possibilities on how to establish and demonstrate meteorological traceability and that will be through the use of national meteorological institute and through accredited calibration lab also for reference material certified reference material from reference material producers shall be conforming to ISO IEC 1704. Lab shall establish and maintain meteorological traceability of results by a documented unbroken chain of calibration, each contributing to measurement uncertainty. And that same like in the definition of ISO IEC guide 99 which refer to international vocabulary of metrology VIM, they defined metrological traceability as the property of measurement result that can be traceable to a reference through a documented unbroken chain of calibration each contributing to measurement uncertainty. So to ensure meteorological traceability of results to SI units at the end, all equipment inside the lab shall be calibrated with a specific calibrator, which is this calibrator shall be calibrated by a content calibration lab, which is traceable to National Meteorological Institute, which is traceable to SI units at the end. And this is the documented unbroken chain of 
calibration and for each equipment you will find a certificate including measurement uncertainty so so it will be a documented unbroken chain of calibration for all equipment inside the lab each contributing to measurement uncertainty example for that auxiliary parts such as balance and that's explained before using calibrated weights for calibration and these calibrated weights shall be calibrated by a content calibration lab which is traceable to national meteorological institute which is traceable to si units and crm certified reference materials shall be provided by a specific provider who meet the requirement of ISO IEC 17034 and BT proficiency test sample shall be provided by a specific provider who meet the requirement of ISO IEC 17043 an instrument also an instrument inside the lab measuring an instrument shall be uh, calibrated by a measuring measure, measurement standards and these standards shall be from accepted provider that establish traceability to SI units and it will be included with the certificate they will send a certificate calibration certificates and these certificates include the measurement uncertainty each one of these equipment each equipment it will include it will have a calibration certificate or a certificate including the measurement uncertainty so it will be by a documented meteorological traceability of results it will be by a documented unbroken chain of calibration unbroken chain of calibration each contributing to measurement uncertainty lab shall ensure that measurement results traceable to si units through First point, calibration shall be provided by a content lab, content calibration lab. And in note one, you will find that lab fulfilling the requirement of this document of ISO IEC 17025-2017 edition considered as a content. So this lab shall be certified according to ISO IEC 17025-2017 edition. Also, to ensure the traceability of measurement results to SI units, that will be through certified reference materials. C CRM shall be provided from reference material producers who have conformity to ISO IEC 17034, as I explained before, which stated traceability to SI units. Also, last point, direct through direct realization of SI units that ensured by comparison directly or indirectly with national or international standards and for more details for this point also they added in the annex annex 1 for meteorological traceability a23 measurement standards that have been provided by a competent lab shall be with a certificate associated with measurement uncertainty in a21e lab performing one or more steps shall supply evidence for their technical competence and that's what we explained before and the last point which i found more flexible when traceability to si units is not technically possible in this case the lab shall ensure traceability of measurement results to an appropriate reference such as reference lab or reference procedure or reference standard i found this point give us more space in the work because in the corona days some analysts contact me that they cannot find any calibration lab content calibration lab to calibrate their equipments for in some countries because most of laboratories were closed in this case I found that you can, you can do this. You can ensure traceability of measurement results to an appropriate reference lab. Reference lab, which is lab certified according to ISO IEC 17025-2017 edition, can fulfill the requirement of this document and also has a equipments have equipments which is calibrated from a content calibration lab and you can compare your equipments with his equipments i found this as a as, as an option you can use or not but still this point is confused even for me using reference lab but at the end the best cases or the optimum cases to use a content calibration lab which is traceable to NMI which is traceable to SI units but if it's not possible in this case you can use a reference lab 
and also if you have any uh, understanding different understanding for this point you can share it with me also another example CRM certified values of CRM shall be provided by a content provider and also results of reference procedure or reference standards accepted as providing measuring res measurement results for for the lab fit for their intended use and ensured by suitable comparison that was the end of our lecture for today thank you and see you in the next lecture with the last clause in resources requirement externally provided products and service and after that we have process requirements